here we go with part three. Um, check audio. Looks okay, I guess. Um, first, I do want to apologize for the crappy quality of the audio I'm using the mic on the camera. And uh, the reason for that is because I'm already using the line input uh, for Arcturus. And I can use both at the same time, but it really screws with the software, which is what I want to show you this time, uh, the software side of things. also want to do a quick demo a little bit better, because I noticed in the uh, first demo with radiation samples, the uh, audio wasn't near as loud as what I thought it would be. So this time I've corrected for that. All right, uh, first off, let's have some audio. Kaboom. Now what you're hearing isn't radiation, that hiss is the lights. On uh, top of the can here I have, I think, five layers of uh, garbage bag. Four plus one. Yes, I believe so. And the reason I did it that way is because um, it lets in enough light to do the photo listener job. See? and uh, also does the radiation at the same time. So if the light level is just right, that hiss falls down to a minimum, and any increase in light, like that, moving my fingers over it, um, is translated as sound. Meanwhile, you're also hearing the radiation because that crystal's still on there, and that crystal is a beautiful window for uh, visible light. In fact, they do make lenses out of barium fluoride for um, infrared and ultraviolet applications, apparently. But it has a very broad spectral range of transmission, which makes it very excellent. Okay, um, now you can hear all that. So. Next part is I want to redo the demonstration of radiation detection with this thing. Uh, first off, I need to. What do I need to do here? Hmm. I think I need to put another layer of garbage bag on that to shut it up, or we're going to have issues. More issues than we do already. So let's do that really quick. We need to do everything for my stockpile stored neatly on the floor. See, all it takes is one measly sheet of garbage bag to shut it up. That's six. Six uh, pieces. And yes, I have figured out exactly what I need for exactly what application, as any good scientist would. Now, um, where's my stuff? Now, I have an alpha, or bleh, I have a uh, americium 241 sample from smoke detector, very nice, and you get to hear that first, I think. There you go. Now, because I really have to move by here, I'm going to just throw that over the top and let it cook. <laughs> okay. i got to hurry because I really want to show you this. You're wondering, how do you use one of these things practically, right? You don't have any reference points and whatnot, and you don't have anything you can do with it other than uh, uh, just listen to it. Well, that's not true. Check this out. This is Radio Skypipe. It is a program I use for all my uh, graphing needs. does fantastically well for many, many purposes. And you can see it respond to the uh, spikes. I've just got it uh, sampling the sound card input. And they pull the sample off there and you can get a better idea without all the barrage of radioactive mayhem. Over. You see it responding there. Let's focus on that. Excuse me a moment. Why, that's a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, all part of the fun, folks.
there you can see it doing its thing properly but I have another program too this is really cool and it took me quite a while to find this this is called CDV counter it was made for uh, civil defense Geiger counters and it analyzes the sound card line input mixer input whatever and uh, attempts to um, give you accounts per minute based on how many ticks it's hearing. Threshold is set a bit low. I should be... I should just kill it. Why not? That was good. Bring it back. If you try to change a value and then you hit enter, it closes it. So, a little bit troublesome there. Anyway, it'll give you a uh, millirad per hour count and uh, CPM count average based on how many uh, your sample time and uh, over a longer period it tries to estimate what your CPM and millirad per hour is. Uh, yeah, so really cool for that sort of thing. Uh, you could use this program I guess for anything that generates a pulse, although I haven't tried that. But yeah, nice little graph there and uh, log rolling along. You can set it from one second intervals to like God knows. I really don't know. A long time. Very handy. And I believe it will also save log files. Hmm. Will it? Well, it'll take a wave input. Uh, yeah, save CPM data as a text file. I don't know how long the log is, but uh, very cool little thing there. Great to have. Excellent compliment for Radio Skypipe, which by itself is a legendary program. It's just fantastic for logging all kinds of data from uh, from radio astronomy, which is how it got its name, to uh, seismic detectors, vibration detectors, thermal, uh, humidity, you name it. Anything you can dream up that puts voltage out. This thing will translate into beautiful data, and it'll run and run and run without a hitch. I've run this thing for days on end, logging data once every uh, hundredth of a second without a hitch. It's just excellent. I use it to do my magnetometer. And the temperature inside the magnetometer, and this thing, and yeah, anything I run into, man, I use it. It's awesome. Anyway, shameless plug for uh, <laughs> for Jim Sky's brilliant program, Radio Skype Pipe. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's a excellent way to deal with your uh, data from your homebrewed Geiger or your bought Geiger if you have one of those, and you can rig it up. There's the random sample back on that. And you can see the monumental change in the data there, and uh, and CDV counter by David Honig, by the way, if you have problems finding that. I think it fell out of development a long time back. It's now smacking like an average of 1,500 counts per minute. Uh, Probably about 1.5 to 1. Point, so, whoa, a bit more than that. About two millirads per hour. So that tiny little speck of uranium is pretty hot. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little festival of insanity. And uh, and if I can come up with something new and exciting to do with this thing. By all means, I will fire off another video, and uh, got some other things lined up too, but we'll get to that. Anyway, I want over limit. Anyway, um, there you are. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.